Maytag knows it can be easy to forget you've got wet clothes sitting in the washer. That's why Maytag has the fresh hold option. It keeps clothes tumbly fresh in the washer for up to 12 hours. So the loads you forget will be ready when you remember. Uh-oh. Maytag Appliances, now available at more furniture in Efreda. Uncertainty over the eight-mile dam above Icicle Creek drew some 60 residents and interested observers to the Leavenworth Fire Hall Monday night, where emergency managers sought to provide answers. How are we going to notify people if there is a potential dam breach, um, or if there is a dam breach at the site up there? What's our response going to look like? Those are the type of things that we want to really focus on tonight. About a dozen homes would be immediately threatened, and about 50 total could be affected if the dam and the high Alpine Lakes wilderness were to suddenly fail. But Sisson and managers of the Icicle Peshastan Irrigation District, which controls the dam, said such a catastrophe right now is unlikely. The historic earth and mortar dam has been weakened by erosion over the years. The 2017 Jack Creek fire scorched the landscape above the lake and increased the chance of runoff leading dam operators to declare an emergency last March and begin work on repairs. The lake level actually dropped over the weekend to about five feet below the level where a breach becomes likely. Irrigation District Manager Tony Janser said he remains watchful. The north-facing slopes are still probably 70 percent laden with heavy ripe snow. Um, so if we get some rain up there on that, we could see increased flows pretty quickly. If a breach occurs, it would be 30 to 45 minutes before the flood reaches homes in the Icicle Creek Channel and downstream to the Wenatchee River. Emergency managers would then begin evacuations. Residents along the channel have already been warned in writing of the situation, but none have been asked to leave. Janser's team plan to start reinforcing the earthen portion of the dam today and eventually place remote monitors to keep an eye on water levels. That's phase one. So phase two is we're going to be able to then draw the lake down so we have a, a, a dead pool behind it so it can absorb huge impacts, okay? And then stage three is we're going to set it up so it does that automatically. Jefferson Robbins, iFiber One News.